Breaking news, my wonderful people. Nigerians hate Tinubu over comments on borrowing. In case you are not aware, the level at which Buhari has borrowed up to in this nation, Nigerians borrow, you know, it's close to 60 trillion, not Naira. In case you think it's Naira, it's not in Naira, just to put it in perspective. That is debt on children yet unborn that carries the green passport. Yes, that's debt on them yet unborn, you know, and this is what Buhari has done. So add insult to injury. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, do not see anything wrong in it and does not really have any clear cut how those things can be, you know, changed or corrected. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians hit Tinubu over comments on borrowing. A recent comment on the presidential candidate of the Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, justifying the government's continuous borrowing to fund consumption and other non-productive venture has sparked controversies across the country with many Nigerians expressing displeasure at his intention behind his proposition. Tinubu, who made a comment in a, Euro, in a YouTube video trending online, attempted compensating, comparing Nigerian borrowing with that of the United States of America, which borrows to fund productive enterprise. According to APC presidential candidate, there is nothing wrong with a country borrowing to fund its government. In his words, if borrowing is a crime, the entire America should be jailed. However, his comment has been met with backlash from Nigerians who have questioned the intention for embedded borrowing by the federal government that has left the country with a debt profile of over 42 trillion. Chairman SME's group of Lagos Chambers of Commerce and Industries, LCCI, Daniel Dixon, cont contented the APC flag bearer's comments, condemning it, pointing out that the government of other nations do not borrow to fund their recurrent expenditure like payment of salaries, but rather fund capital infrastructures that would contribute to the revenue generation and be able to pay back the loan. He said Nigerian government do not have vision, no vision at all why they are borrowing. He said, what year did America borrow to pay salaries and consumption? Can Tinubu provide that information? To the best of my knowledge, in modern times, even small countries do, do not do that. As a country, you should borrow for capital projects that can generate money to repay the loan. You borrow to improve your capacity to generate money. Salaries do not improve capacity to generate money. If the government develops infrastructures, it will improve capacity to generate revenue. Salaries is a recurring expenditure that should be provided Four, the question is, if you continue to borrow to consume and pay salaries, how long are you going to do that? That is very, very wrong, which he does not seem to have a clear vision about at all. This is very wrong. Dixon also condemned the non-functional states and non-productivity non going on in the country mostly importation, which has devalued our Naira in a small way. Working to get money, it's not all about life. There must be more. Tinubu has shown to Nigerians by his comments that he has nothing to change the course of this narrative or to bring Nigeria out of the current debt. It's going to be Buhari's administration all over again if Tinubu becomes president. And it is like they will say a word. Somebody say a word. And uh -huh. repeat that with me again. Say a word. Thank you. He says enough for the wise. Into lock bolo. It means the one when he gets sense. One word. If they tell him one word, he go take him. He go, go, go assume the word. He go put him for a heart. He go say, eh? This is when they tell me so. I get to think him on. Me cannot carry mash grammar. No go mash stone no. Or mash nailo, so you go pay attention, especially if you're in a building site. You have to be that's why they encourage wear your safety boots. Yeah, 
you have to be patient and you have to now look, observe, you know, re reevaluate the thing. Don't just go there and just, you know, dive in without paying attention because you can dive in and dive out. You are, you are celebrating Buhari's boring, giving rubbish excuses that makes no sense. And then you come to tell us you want to be president. You, you know the funniest thing? Can I take you back in memory lane? There was a time this country's currency was so good. Most of you would have heard us say it. And then um, please, I, I, I plead your indulgence. Yeah, my father was taught by a British English teacher why the Naira was stronger than the pound at that time. Yes, you heard me. The Naira, the same Naira was stronger than the pound. Those were the days where you don't need to take visa to travel to, to the UK. You know, they are colonial masters. Yes, those were the days that... They've not discovered crude oil. Yes, it was not discovered. But you, you, you may want to ask me. So, my daddy, Naira, is strong, part pan. I go tell you. Hear, hear me out. Too. Are you listening? Here we go. We were exporting cocoa, granite. We were exporting curtains. We were exporting more than we were importing. So, we were strong. Do you know not only America, Canada, Britain and the, and Australia and the rest, you know, do not have to take visa to go to. Do you know the other smaller islands? Do you know that Malaysia, for instance, their their passport, their distant visa is so strong that they don't need to go and take American visa to go to America. Yes, they just go online, fill it. I'm traveling, staying for five months, blah 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 blah, and that's it. Just like the British would do if they are going to America. Yes, but you know why? A time came they began to they began to check us. Because we began to have leaders. I don't want to mention Nemo so that they're not going to hammer me for you. We began to have leaders that we are, that we are treacherous, selfish, you know, storing wealth. I can tell you for free, as much as people are suffering, there are money buried on ground that have become rotten, even forgotten because those people died without even revealing to anybody that it was such amount of trillions of Naira. They were just printing money and storing it away. There was no posterity in view, nothing to build our economy, build our industries. To make matter worse, we had the military who divided the country and gave the North how many states so that they can harvest from where they did not sow. How can a state like Kogi in Lore be in the North? Just asking. They will say the Middle Belt is North when they want to share. Then by the time they are done with what they want and they've achieved what they want to achieve, then the middle belt is discarded and they will not classify them as middle belt. And then you tell me that uh, there is unity, harmony and, prosper and prosperity. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.